by what we call the pilot or the cow catcher, there's a good possibility the train's derailed. It will, will derail. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's worked for a hundred years. You know, it's been the same. It's been the same. So it obviously works. But a situation can arise where somebody can put something on the track. If we hit a car, we had a situation up in uh, uh, the San Joaquin Valley here a year and a half ago where two uh, engineer and a fireman were burned to death in a locomotive because they hit a truck. 98 times out of 100, it's going to knock the truck out of the way, all right? But you get a gravel truck and you got several tons up against a 75 mile an hour factory train, something's going to give. It may not necessarily be the gravel truck. Uh, trucks have a tendency to leave stolen cars on tracks, you know? Uh, at least up there in our neck of the woods, they do. And, and you know, when you're sitting in that, in that engine and you're going 90 miles an hour, those rails look like they're an inch apart. And when you see something on the track up there, I don't care, the most seasoned veteran engineer that's been out here for 35 or 40 years begins to get nervous. Is the train going to stay on the track or is the car going to stay on the track or the truck or the, or the obstacle, you know? <coughs> the answer to your question is that if you see anybody messing around the tracks, we would appreciate it if you'd at least shoo them on. Because it's going to do two things. Your presence is going to tell them that you're aware of that, and if they do have some plan on doing something, they're probably not going to do it. All right. Secondly of all, you may save somebody's life by telling them that where there's tracks, there's trains. And, uh, you know, uh, we, we get, engineers are real, real good about this. If anything happens along the tracks, that the engineer doesn't think is right. They're, they're gonna throw. They'll call the dispatcher and let them know. Hey, we got a group of kids down here in Glendora that are, you know, really pelting us with rocks, you know, or they're putting ties on the tracks. Uh, you know, anything you think is suspicious, well, go ahead and investigate. You know, and we're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna ask. In that in that vein, this one something just came to mind. If, if there is a group of kids, if you look at there's kids riding bikes in this whole area right here all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, if you know you pull through here and, and, and so you, you, know, you think there might be problems, you call the statue, who calls us. Mm -hmm. Is is it your is it the desire of the, of the the conductor that we that we resolve the problem and just get the kids away from the tracks, or is there or, or are they interested in pursuing things criminally? No. Well, say just the, 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 base, the best thing you can probably do is approach these kids and explain to them what the dangers are out here. And I'm, an, I'm an engineer, I'm a supervisor right now, I run for them. I've had kids sitting there waiting for one day to pull a rock with me. Other than that, yeah. you know, and, and, and they don't got a windshield, they're going to your eyes. Yeah. And, and they're going to get hurt. They're not wearing safety glasses. I mean, uh, when I was a kid, we used to throw rocks at you. We used to throw them at boxcars. We've been doing that for 100 years. Yeah, yeah. Now, nowadays, instead of throwing them at it, just a bad body of the train, they're throwing them at the engines and the, and the cabooses. Trying to hurt people. Right. Mean, we're up here trying to earn, earn a living here and stuff. We're flying out here doing 65 miles an hour, and a kid hangs it from a from a bridge or something, hands up, hangs a brick right right in line with you, and you're doing 65 miles an hour. And that comes through the windshield. We Sparklets pop. Well, we we, 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 we have quite a few engineers taken really? out with concussions, their heads busted wide open, um, occasionally getting shot at. And you know, if you can come out here, we got kids here, you know, throwing rocks. One of these days, might hit one of these windows, and there's you know, an innocent passenger here who kills them. I mean, if you can come up and uh, approach them, you know, you see them around the tracks, you might say, hey, it's a dangerous place to play. You know, explain to them, hey, uh, you know, stay away from our, uh, you know, especially if you see them throwing rocks. You put a little scare in them. Our priorities. Kids, kids yeah. are very impressionable. Our priorities, insofar as the police department are concerned. And a situation like that, or it's just your presence. The visibility, and chances are, if you pull up along the tracks, the kids are going to scatter. You know, it's just the idea that you know they're there, and you know that uh, that they are, you know, what they're doing. Even if you don't know what they're doing, they think you do. You see, and so uh, uh, you know, as as far as as far as our priorities are concerned, no, we're not interested in prosecuting unless they actually damage the train unless they actually cause a problem. And uh, oh, our so standpoint from that is just like any other citizen. So we would, I mean, the only thing that we would, we could get from the dispatch is, since you're gone, you're down the rails, mm -hmm. we would need, we could get the conductor's name. Name, all that's on record. Every, and then the, the, the uh, whatever, the train number, whatever, mm -hmm. for our report. I mean, all sure. That's available through the, 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Santa Fe dispatcher. Basically, when we get robbed or something happens, anything happens in a split second, we're here with God. Right. No identification. Here I am, okay, uh, Santa Fe dispatcher, get on the ground, please. Yeah. 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 Yeah.